right, some of you guys may have heard of the uh, singer and actress Chloe Bailey. Now, to be honest, I'd never heard of her, so I'm, I'm sure she's quite good. But anyway, she and her sister Hallie sing together now, and she's also an actress these days. Recently, she got very upset uh, because she was served a real burger instead of a fake burger, her preferences, I suppose. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Sean Baker. Today, we're gonna take a brief look at who Chloe Bailey is and what's going on with her burgers. Nine years ago, she and her sister started a YouTube channel of them singing uh, Pretty Hurts. Is all that made of just another stage pageant the pain away. The duo were noticed by Beyonce and she began helping them to become successful. Chloe and Haley became vegan after their mom tried vegetarianism, even though her mom went back to eat meat. So our mom went on this retreat and they were like, try being vegetarian. So she came home and Hallie and I were like, we'll try it with you. And we did it. She went back to meat mm -hmm. and everything, but we felt great immediately. They often brag about going vegan as if it's actually a good thing. In this clip, they highlight a super sweet, very high carb smoothie that they shared with each other during the lockdowns. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of raspberries. Do you want more than that? Sure. Yeah, and let's add some blueberries. And then we're gonna add some agave nectar. Yep. Oh, we need some more than that. Now, how has a vegan diet worked out for Chloe? <laughs> Chloe just has a bit of gas. Yeah. And she owns it, though. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with that. It's healthy. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to, I didn't attack you about the gas. Uh, it may have led to some serious bloating issues for sure. So much so that the rumors were that she was actually pregnant because she was so bloated. Uh, she went ahead and tweeted an answer to those rumors, and so it must have been bloating after all. Research has confirmed what any honest person would admit, fiber promotes more gas and thus much more bloating. So what about the fake burger, real burger mistake that supposedly happened? I've been vegan for 10 years. So yesterday, at the hotel we were staying at, I've stayed there several times. You know, they have a Beyond Burger. You guys really like my makeup? Thanks. And so I called to get a Beyond Burger for Sis and I, like usual. You know, specify that it's vegan, no butter on the bun, nothing like that. So we get the burgers and I'm getting out the shower. Sis and I, we were sharing a room since we were just there for a night. And she's eating the burger. She's like, are you sure this is beyond? She took like a couple bites. She's like, this is, she said, this is really good. It sure is beyond. I said, yeah. So wait, she said, are you sure this is beyond meat? Is It's really good. <laughs> what does that tell you about beyond meat? You know, somebody thinks, a real burger actually tastes good compared to what that stuff normally tastes like. But Chloe had faith in the fake burger's flavor. So I take a bite and the juice dripping from the burger is not like a Beyond Burger. I just knew it was not a fake burger. I just, I the one bite I took and I just knew. I immediately, I said, this doesn't feel right. I immediately called downstairs. I said, these are vegan burgers, right? No, first I said, these are Beyond Burgers, right? He said, yes. I said, they're vegan burgers? He said, no, they're brand burgers. I said, brand burgers? I said, Beyond Burgers. I don't, I don't even know what a brand burger is. You know what, Chloe? Uh, the real burger is much healthier for you anyway, and much, much more healthy so than that fake stuff. Let's take a look at the ingredients to this fake burger. Pea protein powder can also cause problems because of anti-nutrients to include things like lectins. Then of course there's the uh, ubiquitous canola oil, uh, which is uh, inflammatory, uh, it's totally unnatural. Uh, of course, methyl cellulose, uh, an undigestible fiber, a thickening agent made from wood pulp. Then some more junk food and some synthetic vitamins to try to make it seem like actual food. These fake burgers are clearly known for causing gastrointestinal problems. So there you go, another young person sucked in by the vegan propaganda and probably suffering from some problems because of it. Chloe, if you see this, please eat a real burger, not fake industrial processed crap burgers are just gonna make you sick and harm the environment anyway. If you'd like to learn more about how seed oils like canola oil can be a problem, uh, check out this video up here. Keep it real, keep your burgers real, and we'll see you next time.